YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at a gun that has pretty much been reviewed by everybody here on YouTube already. I'm talking about the Strybog SP9A1. Now you might be asking, why are we even reviewing this gun if there are already so many reviews out there? Um, well, that's because we have seen a lot of awesome aftermarket components recently come out for this platform. Um, it honestly reminds me of a Glock 19. And what I mean by that is that right out of the box, it's a great shooter ready to go. However, there are so many things that you can do to the platform to make it better for you. Um, this is gonna make more sense once we get out on the range. But before we get on to the range footage, let's go over what we have done to this Trybog to make it a little more fun for us on the range. The first thing you might notice is the new lower receiver from A3 Tactical. This is a strong injection molded polymer receiver. It allows for you to use CZ Scorpion mags like those made by Magpul. Additionally, it allows for you to use single stage AR-15 triggers like this velocity trigger I have installed. The receiver also comes with ambidextrous paddle magazine releases and allows for the use of ambidextrous AR-15 safety selectors. Additional features include last round hold open and a wide flared open mag well. Using this A3 Tactical lower receiver allows you to have more custom customized features similar to the AR-15 platform, which most of us are familiar with already. The next addition to our Strybog you'll notice is the extended handguard from our buddies over at JTAC Industries. This extended handguard offers an additional one and a half inches of real estate to the front end of your SP9A1. It includes QD points on both sides as well as additional M lock positions. It is easy to install and works on both A1 and A3 variants. If you have the A1 version like myself, you're gonna need the locking charging block from HP Industries. Um, I really like this extended handguard as it gives it a more clean look, especially when adding on a suppressor. Now, before we customize our Strybog with all of these additions, we did go out to the range with the SP9A1 in its stock configuration. Um, after seeing all of these different modifications that are out in the market, I did develop some preconceived notions that I wasn't gonna like it in its stock configuration. I'm happy to report that I was wrong about that, and this gun actually shot really well for us uh, in its stock configuration. We had no issues with how it performed on the range. Um, this is where that comment earlier about it reminding me of a Glock 19 comes into play. To me, a Glock 19, again, right out of the box is good to go. It just works much like this SP9A1 did. However, on my first Glock build, when I started adding compensators, weapon lights, and red dot optics, I did enjoy shooting the gun much more and found it easier to hit my intended target much more consistently. So like I said, after our first range session um, with the Strybog and its stock configuration, Jade, John, and I all found the gun easy to use and had fun shooting it. Now, after that range session, I did start adding all of the components that I mentioned earlier, and I definitely found the gun to be more ergonomic for me because I was able to add a Magpul angled foregrip with that extra rail space, as well as a Magpul AR-15 grip, which I more prefer. Um, I think that with these add-ons, the platform is also more aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, Jade and I headed back out to the range and ran this setup in its new configuration. Here is the footage of our first shots through the gun with the new attachments. All right, finally got this thing all ready to go for the range. Uh, obviously the Strybog upper with the A3 tactical lower uh, using some of our uh, laser engraved uh, CZ Magpul P mags and then the CGS group uh, Mod 9 full size suppressor. So uh, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Feels good. Not too gassy back in the face. Digging it. All right. All right, your first rounds, go for it. Digging it, it's cool, it's fun. 
I of course had to run some build drills because that is my favorite thing to do on the range. All right guys, so I'm gonna run some uh, build drills with the Strybog A3 Tactical setup. Uh, as you guys can see over here, I'm gonna be shooting on this uh, Mini A-Zone 8-Ap Steel from TA Targets. Uh, real quick, low ready to me has always been taught like this. I pointed in on my target, my muzzle is low on the target and ready to fire and I'm looking over my sights. Uh, that's what was taught to me in my law enforcement days, that's what was taught to me in my instructor school and it's also what makes sense to me. So uh, the other versions of low ready I've seen where guys are like this, I get it, that's how your unit, your department, whatever it was that was taught to you and would make sense to you, cool. But for the purpose of what I'm talking about in this video, low ready means pointed in, low on your target and ready to fire. So just so we're clear on that, all right, let's run it. Here we go, stand by. Climbed a little bit on me, six shots and a 138. First shot was a 0.6. Let's go again, stand by. All clean. 143, first shot, 6.5. Let me switch out mags here. Stand by, last one. Nice and clean, this thing is smooth. That was a 143, first shot, 0.52. Yeah, man. Next up, I wanted to show how awesome this CGS Group Mod 9 full-size suppressor is. So here's this footage. All right guys, I want to show you uh, just how cool this uh, CGS Mod 9 full size is. So I got a mag here loaded up. First five rounds are gonna be some 115s, the second set of five will be some 124s, and the last will be that Winchester Ranger 147. So let's uh, check out the sounds. All right, here we go. First five rounds, 115s. Next five, 124s. And the last five, 147 Winchester Rangers. Full lock back, good to go. Super quiet. I also did some shooting on the move, which is extremely easy to do with this large field of view that you receive from the SLX Micro Prism site made by Primary Arms. Um, it's super clear and it comes with my favorite reticle, the ACSS. Now you heard me mention earlier about the ambidextrous paddle magazine releases of the A3 Tactical Lower Receiver. Um, I really like this because it allows you to use your index finger of your firing hand to engage the mag release, while the other hand strips the magazine and performs the reload. The paddle release is also extended so you can perform your reload similar to that of an MP5 if that's what you're used to. Now, if having an ambidextrous paddle magazine release wasn't awesome enough, you also have an ambidextrous bolt release which just makes reloading this thing such a breeze. Now I wanna go over how I have this exact setup configured for everybody because I know I will get questions uh, down below in the comments if I don't. So first thing I wanna start with is the sling. Guys, I'm using this Tiger Stripe padded sling from Flatline Fiber Company. Um, the sling is adjustable, it's super comfortable, and it matches really well with our custom laser engraved Tiger Stripe Magpul CZ mags. Um, like I mentioned before, I am running the A3 Tactical Lower Receiver with a Velocity Single Stage Trigger and the Radian 45 Degree Ambidextrous Safety Selectors. I also have the SB Tactical Full Holding brace with the Midwest Industries QD attachment point um, so that I can use that padded sling. The next thing you'll notice is the Magpul angled foregrip. Um, this angled grip in conjunction with the HRF Concepts ramp for the mod button from Modlite just feels really good in the hand. It is ergonomically friendly and super intuitive which makes it easy to use especially if you are like me and consistently run a thumbs forward grip on all the platforms you shoot. I'm also running a Surefire Pro Scout 
weapon light uh, with their built-in swivel mount uh, on the M-lock rail. That allows the light to get as close to the upper receiver as possible, something I really like because it does keep the setup very minimal and it prevents snagging. Mounted on the top rail, again, I have that Primary Arms SLX Micro Prism Optic with the ACSS reticle. On the muzzle end, I have the JTAC Industries handguard extension, which allows me to have that Magpul AFG in the perfect place for my hand, which is just a little further out. Um, I then threw on a tri-lug adapter to the end of the threaded barrel, which allows me to easily attach my CGS Group full-size Mod 9 suppressor. I'll go back to this again, guys. When I got this thing completely decked out, it reminded me of when I made my first roll in special Glock 19 with a threaded barrel and compensator, Surefire X300, and Trijicon RMR. Again, I personally think that the Strybog SP9A1 out of the box is a great shooting gun. However, after adding all of these aftermarket components, it was definitely way more fun to shoot. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this video on our custom Strybog build. Um, big shout outs to A3 Tactical, JTAC Industries, Primary Arms, SB Tactical, Venture Munitions, and Flatline Fiber Company for sending us their products to use in this video. Um, we really appreciate the support with our channel and we can't thank you guys enough. For all of you guys that are Strybog enthusiasts, I hope you all found this video enjoyable as well and I hope you plan on doing some of these modifications yourself. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up down below because that does help out the channel, guys. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to further support our content, please check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon squad are a huge reason why we can keep making these videos for you guys all to watch, so thank you to them. As always, guys, thanks for checking out the video and I will see you in the next one. All right, James, trying out the uh, Strybog upper with the A3 Tactical lower and the CGS Group Mod 9 SK. Oh, that's fun. Man, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, so that's the uh, Cyclops Prism sight from Primary Arms. The same reticle that you were shooting in the Vulcan optic on the handgun. Yeah, I think it's fucking nice, man. How this sweet is that? This isn't reciprocating either, huh? Yeah, then tell us new My thumb would have been gone exactly. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is fucking cool. And how it folds up, man. Think of like like a little like, under the seat truck gun. Yeah, this thing is rad, man. Yeah, yeah, I want one. Yeah, I know what I want for Christmas. Fuck yeah. Recording. <laughs> Talk again. Hi. It's really cold. My nose is running. <laughs>